and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at applications of quadratic functions. In our first example, we are told that the initial velocity of an object thrown downward is 6 feet per second. The mathematical model of its movement is given by the formula s is equal to 6t plus 16t squared, where s is the distance and t is the time the object travels. How long does it take the object to fall 80 feet? Round the answer to the nearest tenth. Okay, so what are we trying to do here? We're trying to determine how long it takes the object to fall. So it looks like what we don't know is the time. What we do know is that it's going to fall 80 feet. So 80 feet, that's what we're going to use for s. We're going to substitute in 80 for s, giving us 80 is equal to 6t plus 16t squared. Okay, since this is a quadratic, I'm going to set it equal to 0 by subtracting 80 from both sides. I'm also going to use the commutative property just to flip around these so I have that t squared term first. So I get 0 equals 16t squared plus 6t minus 80. And just one more thing, just a little thing, all three terms are divisible by 2 on the right hand side. So just to get the coefficients to be a tiny bit smaller, I'm going to divide everything by 2. This is an optional step. I just like, you know, working with smaller numbers when possible. So this is going to give me 8t squared plus 3t minus 40. And I could check to see if it's factorable, but given that the problem says rounds the nearest tenth, I'm under the impression that I'm going to want my calculator. So I'm going to use the quadratic formula instead. The quadratic formula is, in this case, t, normally we say x, but in this case t, is equal to the inverse of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a, and in this case we have a is 8, b is 3, and c is negative 40. Let's plug those in. So we get t is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, b squared, minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. We're going to clean up what's under the radical, that's called the discriminant. If we clean up the discriminant, we end up with plus or minus. This will be 9, so we get 9. We have two negatives, which is going to turn that positive. 4 times 8 is 32, and 32 times 40 is 1,280. Adding these together, we end up with 1,289 divided by 16. Okay, so now it does say to round to the nearest tenth, so let's take the square root of 1,289. We're not going to simplify it, we're going to just take the square root. And now we get approximately, so I'm going to use the approximately sign, negative 3 plus or minus 35.9 when I take the square root, divided by 16. So now we want to separate this into two, the, the positive and then minus. This will be negative 3 plus 35.9 divided by 16, negative 3 minus 35.9 divided by 16. When I look at that top one, I know this is going to be about 2 seconds. Let's see, it's negative, sorry, negative 3 plus 35.9 would be 32.9 divided by 16, and we get just over 2, 2.1 seconds. For the bottom one, we end up with negative 38.9 divided by 16. It doesn't even matter what this is. This is going to end up being negative, and we don't have time being a negative, right? That doesn't make any sense. Time can only be positive. So we're going to throw out that possible solution, meaning it's going to take the object 2.1 seconds to travel 80 feet. Wow, that is moving very quickly. How about our next example? Swimmy Sal builds a rectangular fence for his swimming pool with an area of 900 square feet. Oh goody, I like these because we get to set up, uh, draw a picture. And as we, you may know, I am a fantastic artist. No, I'm not. I'm a terrible artist. Okay, so here's my swimming pool. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, it must be enclosed by a fence, so there's my fence. Let's make sure it looks like a pool. Oh, I'm making it worse. Okay, stop that. Uh, the area of this fencing is 900 square feet so I'm going to say the area of the fence around the pool is 900 square feet and what do we know about the fence the width is 11 feet longer than the length so this would be the length because it's shorter and the width is 11 feet longer than the length what are the dimensions of the fence set up and solve a quadratic equation to answer this question Okay, so we need to know what's area of a rectangle, area of any rectangle, 
is length times width. And now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of put this all together. So the area of the fence, which is a rectangle, is 900 square feet. We know that the length, we're just calling that L, and we know the width is equal to 11 plus L. So we're just going to substitute in what we can. Okay, great. Now we have it in terms of one variable. Let's distribute the L. We get 900 is equal to 11L plus L squared. It looks like we have a quadratic, so I want to set it equal to 0. I'm going to subtract 900 from both sides. This gives me 0 equals L squared plus 11L minus 900. Now, I think this might be factorable, but 900 has a ton of factors, so I think it'll be faster for me just to use the quadratic formula. In this case, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 11, and C is equal to negative 900. Let's plug into the quadratic formula. In this case, we're going to say L is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C, all divided by 2A. We're going to clean up under the radical. We're going to clean up that discriminant. That's negative 11 plus or minus the square root. 11 squared is 121. We have two negatives that can make plus. 4 times 1 times 900 is 3,600. So under the radical, we end up with 3,721. All of this is divided by 2. Guess what? 3,721 is a perfect square. Its root is 61. So we're going to say this is 61, and we can set up our two cases. We have L is equal to negative 11 plus 61 divided by 2, and L is equal to negative 11 minus 61 divided by 2. Here we get 50 divided by 2, which is 25. Here we get negative 72 divided by 2. Wait a minute. We can't have a negative length, so we're going to throw this one out, and we're done. Well, we're not done, but we know at least the length. The length is 25 feet. But it does ask for the dimensions. So what we know is the length is 25 feet. And what is the width in this case? The width would be 25 plus 11, which is 36. If you want to double check, you can multiply those and make sure that we end up with 900 square feet. I think we will, so we're all set here. These have been examples of applications of quadratic functions. Thank you for stopping by.